What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Today, I want to talk about a young man, Anthony Edwards. He is a young brother, explosive young brother, who is um, doing fairly well in the NBA. He is finally an NBA all-star. The young brother is improving every year. And uh, again, I'm mean, like I said, he did only one year in, in, in college. And then he came out averaging 19.3 points per game, 21.3 and 24.6 respectively. Improving his efficiency numbers overall every year, except for the free throw percentage. So he is getting better. All right. Um, even the three ball is falling for the brother. Okay. And um, they made it to the uh, the playoffs um, or the play in rather the last two years. Didn't get to the play. I think they got to the playoffs, too. So um, even went in one round. All right. So that was that was pretty good for them um, in 2022, 2023. But he's now about to hit this two hundred and sixty million dollar deal offer from the Timberwolves. And I want to play a little clip of him talking to these groupies and then I'm going to come back. All you females who think y'all finna come up off a nigga from signing the contract? She the only one? No, her. Boy, don't lie. <laughs> she the only one that's coming up. Look, and she new to the table. So I'm a little <laughs> green for her. <laughs> Everybody else, the light is the same color as my damn jacket. Hey, you talking about? You feel me? So let me just say this, okay? This is the offer that he can get, all right? Um, and he, he talks about these ladies, and this is important, and I'm glad he realizes this. He is six foot four, 225 pounds, all right? Women just off the strength would think that he's probably a, um, an attractive guy. He's tall, he's athletic. But let me just tell you this a lot of times, guys think that, oh, you know, I'm a player, you know, girls want me for the game, they don't want me for my money. Everybody wants you for your money, period. That's the trick. When I started getting some money, I was working out a little bit, had a little bit of, you know, I had a little, people start laughing at your jokes more. All they care about is your money. Once you don't want to give them no money, there they go. Very few will deal with you when you ain't got no money. Very few, okay? But he knows what's going on. He sees what's happening with John Morant, even though John Morant is an idiot, but he definitely sees what's going on with Zion Williamson. And I'm going to tell you what's going to happen. Women just make themselves too available to you, man, when you're on your way up. And this is something that a lot of young brothers don't know. I don't care. Listen, you, 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 you think you're 21 with all that money? Some of you brothers can be 41. And once you get it, women all of a sudden start making themselves available to you that you could never get. And guess what? You also can go broke. Once you get money and start getting money, you're not used to it. You can destroy yourself. It's not about if, it's about when. And that's something that we got to talk about in the black world. We got to have these discussions in the black world, especially with these young black men, that these women, a lot of them, once you make it, hey man, you are the meal ticket. Everybody not trying to build a business. Everybody not trying to work hard all day to have a good life. You got a lot of people, you're the good life they're going to live off of. Yes, you. Some of them is, you. <laughs> you're lucky enough to have them and your friends and family. You're the one that's going to provide for them. You, your work, nothing else, your work. And be mindful of that. Stop believing that because you arrived, the world revolves around you. You're going to find out, unfortunately, soon enough. And listen to what I'm talking to you about when I'm telling you this. You are going to find out, as sure as I'm black, that these folks do not like your ass. You're gonna find it out, bro. I have tried to tell y'all this. I have tried to warn you. I have been preaching this to you every single day on my channel for Brothers on the Way Up. You think that you are so special. Ain't nothing going on but the rent. Always remember that, bruh. Ain't nothing going on but the rent. I don't care what they tell you. Very few people love you for you. Ain't nothing going on but the rent. Long as you know it, you won't be mad. I'm going to tell you again. Ain't nothing going on but the rent. 
Ain't that what she said? You gotta have a J-O-B. If you wanna be with me, ain't nothing gonna... Always remember that on your way up. So then you won't get mad. You won't be pissed off. You won't be upset. Because you know why they there. Why is she trying to make her way to my circle? Why is she trying to do... Because, bruh, that's why. And as long as you let them know, I'm not going for it. You're not going to use me. And it's more time that many to say that. Get your ass a job yourself. You have every right. And with all of this stuff and equality and women's rights and, um, you know, women's companies and diversity hires, you got every right to go out there and get what you want yourself. If we are really equal, we're going to have a conversation about that. Women got every opportunity. Okay. But there's so many ladies looking to get pregnant by a guy. And even now, SPK showed me a picture um, at the grocery store. You have people with, I don't know if you guys have seen this in the grocery store. There is wires around some of the beef because folks are stealing it. Okay. Think times is hard for certain people. And you got to be mindful of that. When you have it and they don't, where are they going to give it? get it from they got to get it from somebody right they're gonna get it from you they will put themselves around you you'd be surprised how many folks all of a sudden like even for me having my little dusty youtube channel you know how many emails i get from there that want to talk about african business deals all of a sudden can you call me brother uh i have something i want to talk to you about brother it, it, it's something that i want to um deal with brother like to go head on and uh 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 i got some i i got some things we can discuss brother this is what they tell you and usually it don't make no sense it'll come in any kind of way in your industry just keep living and professional black men out there who vouch for me in the comment section vouch to me they come to you in different ways it ain't always women and sometimes everybody got a good business idea somebody trying to get up come up off you bro and i'm gonna tell you what it is in order to keep what you got bro it's gonna be a lonely life because you're gonna be every everywhere you're gonna be at man you're gonna be having more money than everybody you're dealing with for the most part when you're that rich everybody else is just that broke you're gonna find out man having friends you can do stuff with it's very few friends it's very few friends that i have that i can say meet me in italy like i'm gonna fly out right now to italy to rome meet me in rome we're gonna kick it in rome i got ten thousand euros we're just gonna kick it very few friends can say that, bro, and can do that. Meet me in Nairobi, we're gonna kick it. Let's go down to Johannesburg on a business class ticket. We're gonna kick it. Very few friends can do that, and women too. And to keep a lot of your stuff, a lot of loneliness is required. I know y'all don't wanna hear that. It's the truth. Because when you become the source of the Nile, and I mean, that's the river, that's the water, that's the money, here they come i am trying to tell you this i'm telling you from my own personal experience because you worked so hard to be there just like he did he might have been six foot four 225 it's a lot of people six foot four and 225 but they can't do what he do because he worked hard they want to benefit all of a sudden women oh i'm allergic to condoms you ever heard that one before oh you know i really don't like condoms like that for real mm -hmm. yeah she gonna be doing everything freaky for a reason she ain't there just hollering her name for no reason she there because she wants something and if you're stupid enough to believe that you're just so special and they just love you for that, wait till the next NBA guy come on. She'll be screwing him too. If you don't, if you're not watchful, just watch out, bro. So guys, what do you think? It's your boy O'Shea Duke Jackson. Back at it again with another episode of Celebrity Drunk. Put your farty dudes, grab the bell. We're out.